So today, we're going to be talking about uh, electrical energy and electrical power. Okay, this is uh, the last subtopic in chapter 2 and it is a subtopic that involves mostly calculations. There's a little bit of stuff that you need to understand, um, but at the end of this class, I hope that <clears throat> whatever that we learn uh, will make sense to you, especially when you look at your electricity bill. Okay, I want, uh, actually I would uh, encourage you uh, to after this class then, finish the class with you go and look at your house electricity bill and see whether all the calculations make sense. Okay, and I will show you my own electricity bill uh, to just prove my point. Lah. Okay, so I'm going to turn and turn your attention over to the uh, to the slides. Okay, we're going to start from this slide and oh, sorry, <coughs> my bad. Okay, so. Uh, <coughs> If you have already watched the video, then you probably would have uh, understood lah, okay, uh, what is electrical energy. Uh, the definition for electrical energy uh, is the ability of electric current to do work, okay, uh, which, <coughs> okay, which I'm going to highlight over here. We're then supplied by a source of electricity such as a cell or battery, yada yada. Then of course we know that whenever we have an appliance, uh, okay, we have an electrical uh, alert, okay, uh, the electrical energy will be transformed or will be converted into another form of energy. Okay, so it still follows our same pattern of thought uh, that we have been talking about since uh, form four. Okay, the electricity, sorry, the energy, uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It just simply changes from one form to another. Okay, so if you think about it, what are the, <coughs> what are examples? Of, okay, it's good to think of examples of electrical appliances that change uh, electrical energy into heat. Okay, it can be heater, it can be iron, uh, you know, even a lamp. Okay, a lamp also uh, produces a little bit of heat. Okay, light, I think everybody knows. Okay, and then uh, mechanical is, uh, wow, there can be a lot of things. Uh, okay, uh, even a motor, okay, changes electrical energy to uh, mechanical energy, kinetic energy in a sense. Okay. And if you watched the video yesterday, okay, then you would have seen the super, super, super banyak punya formula lah, okay. But <clears throat> I only want to just emphasize one lah, which is this, okay. Uh, usually if I teach my students, okay, I will start from here. E equals to VIT, correct, I know. This is the actual one now. V equals to E over Q. Potential difference is defined as energy uh, per for every coulomb of charge, V equals to E over Q. If we change this over, it becomes this. Okay, E equals to V times Q. And if we substitute Q equals to IT, which is the formula that we learned in 2.1. Okay, <clears throat> this is me trying to use my mouse to write. Then interestingly, kan, I use my mouse with my right hand. Padahal, I'm left-handed. I cannot use mouse left hand, no? very straight. Huh? Okay, so anyway. So this one, Q equals to IT, we learn in 2.1. Okay, so this is why I said uh, all the formulas that you learn since 2.1 all, okay, kind of culminate in this, uh, in this subtopic. Lah, okay, which a lot of people think that it's difficult. Actually, it's not. Uh, it's really not difficult. The only one that I would suggest if you want to hafal, hafal this. E equals to VIT. Okay, uh, <coughs> if it makes it easier for you to remember, just remember, we... Vitamin E is a form of energy. Wow, vitamin E, VIT equals to E. Okay, then the rest of it, you can derive huh, by using Ohm's law. If I substitute V equals to IR here, then I will get this, I squared RT. Or if I substitute I in here, okay, in here, V equals to R, uh, V over R, then I will get this one, V squared T over R. Okay, but, Whatever formula you use, lah, whether you're using vitamin E or EERT or EVERTER or you know, whatever you want to pronounce this, the unit for electrical energy is always and always will be uh, the same as every form of energy, which is Joule. Okay? So if there's anything you want to take away from this section, is just remember one formula and then use Ohm's law to derive the rest. Okay? Please don't memorize by mind or by heart. Uh, all these three, okay, because it's a waste of time. Okay, I would rather memorize only two and then derive the rest. It's so much easier that way. Okay, 
now the next thing that we need to look about also is electric power. So just now it's electrical energy and now it's electrical power. Whenever we talk about energy, we always have to talk about power. Okay, because power is the rate of electrical energy dissipated or transferred, which is basically power equals to energy over time. We've learned this formula. <coughs> we have learned this formula okay, since Form 4, Chapter 2. Power is energy over time. Power is energy over time. Power is energy over time. Doesn't matter what form of energy. Okay, can be <coughs> uh, light energy, kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy. Semua tenaga. Okay, asal ada tenaga, bahagi masa, itu adalah kuasa. Okay, and then of course, <coughs> uh, if we follow the train of thought, remember E equals to vitamin. Okay, VIT. So if we divide by time, we get the form P equals to VI. Okay, which is this one. Okay, and then again now we use Ohm's law. Okay, either we substitute the V or we substitute the I, and then we get the other two forms in terms of the uh, the resistance. Okay, so uh, actually, if you think about it, there are only basically two formulas that you need to remember. Okay, the first one is this one. <coughs> uh, sorry, E equals to VIT, and then the second one is the PET formula. Sorry. The PET formula, P equals to E over T. Okay, vitamin E and PET. Okay, it's just that vitamin E is one straight line, PET is one up, one down. Okay, and then the rest, huh, you should derive them on your own. Rather than, cuba menghafal enam formula at one go, because you got a lot of other formulas that you need to think about. Okay, so if, you, if there's a way to make it easier, I suggest that you make it uh, easier. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a while because there's another one that is not mentioned that I need to mention now. <coughs> okay, uh, if you guys have any questions, don't forget to ask uh, in the chat. Huh? Okay, so we've been talking about this. Huh? Electrical energy is E equals to VIT. Okay, and then we use V equals to IR to derive the rest. Okay, and then uh, electrical power is P equals to E over T. Okay, so if electrical energy is in Joule, okay, electrical power, uh, since it's Joule per second, huh? okay, one thing I want to mention, whenever we talk about power, okay, the time has to be in seconds. Okay, except for one case, which we will talk about in a while. Okay, so power is always joule per second, which is why we use uh, the the punya kawan I mean the same meaning. Uh, okay, joules per second is also known as watt. Okay, w a t t, uh, not w h a t. Okay, watt atau w. Okay, which is why we always see a uh, uh, joule, for example, uh, two hundred joules. Okay, energy two hundred watt. Okay, this is power. Energy and power are two totally different things altogether. Okay, the unit and position. But there's another formula uh, that we haven't come to yet. There's another formula that we also need to talk about. Whenever we talk about electrical energy or power, we always need to talk about this extra formula, which is called efficiency. Oh dear. Efficiency. Okay, dalam bahasa Melayu is kecakapan. Okay, so efficiency, yeah. Uh, uh, this is a recap of Form 2, la, Form 2, sorry, Form 2, la, Form 4, Chapter 2. La. Efficiency is output energy over input energy times 100. Kalau kita guna energy. If we're using energy, then it's output energy over input energy times 100. If we're going to use power, same thing. Okay, except that we say output power over input power times 100. Okay, so that's how we count efficiency here. Now, the question is, how do we know what is the efficiency? Sorry, how do we know which one is the output energy? How do we know which is the input energy? We think about, um, uh, we, we think about what is being used and what is being produced. The produced one, uh, okay, yang digunakan untuk, you know, electrical power and stuff like that, okay? Uh, that's output energy, the one that we already use. The one they supply to us, uh, for example, uh, if it is, uh, if it is, let's say, motor, lah, okay, the energy that is supplied to us uh, is uh, chemical energy. So the amount of chemical energy will be considered the input energy or the input power. Okay? Uh, actually, it varies from question to question, um, but I would suggest that when you think about it, think about apa yang masuk dan apa yang dihasilkan. What is produced is always the output energy. Okay, what is used to move something, you know, when something is being moved or when something is being uh, used, uh, okay, that's the output energy. 
Okay, so <coughs> for example, uh, if you have a lamp, okay, if you have a lamp, uh, okay, turn to me, uh, okay, so we know that the input energy, uh, okay, we, we know the input energy, especially for example, in our, in our case, uh, in our country, uh, it's about 240 volts of uh, potential difference. Okay, 240 volts, uh, voltage, uh, okay, 240 is supplied to this one. But actually, yeah, uh, apa yang sebenarnya keluar lah, contohnya lah, okay. Uh, for example, the, the amount of energy that is being produced, uh, the light energy that is being produced, okay. Let's say, yeah, uh, it's only about 20 lah, 20 joules lah, okay. So this one would be considered the output energy, okay. When you when you multiply the current and the time uh, with the two hundred and forty volts, okay, that's the input energy because that's how much you you know you provide. To the lamp. The lamp only produces 20 joules of light, John Tola, okay, 20 joules of light, and then the rest could be heat energy, okay, things like that. So uh, whenever we talk about efficiency, it's always good to think about what is the output energy, apa yang dihasilkan, and berapa yang di supply. Okay, how much you supply is always known as the input energy or the input power. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when to use energy, when to use power, uh, somebody asked me. Uh, depends on the situation. If you can use energy, use energy. If you can only use power, use power. Okay, you need to know what is given to you. Apa yang kamu sedia ada. Okay, which we will come to uh, in a while. Okay, we'll answer a couple of questions. But actually, this thing is not highlighted in chapter in your chapter 2, form 5 because it has already been taught in form 4. I'm just stating this because this needs to be taught. Every time we teach energy, uh, we have to talk about efficiency. Okay, because uh, an efficiency, yeah, the unit is, if you want to call it a unit, nah, because they are not up to so the efficiency is always in terms of percent. Okay, so the efficiency of a motor, for example, 75%. The efficiency of the fan that's in front of me, okay, maybe it's 90%. Okay, 100% efficiency yeah, means uh, kamu punya alat kan memang sangat bagus. How much energy you put inside is how much energy they produce. Totally no wastage at all. Oh, that's very good. But in the real world, there's no such thing as 100% energy. Okay. Uh, give me a while. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to continue with uh, the slides. Any questions so far? Everything okay? All right. Okay. So I'm going to share the, this one now. Huh? Okay, so the next thing we need to talk about is the formula for energy consumed. Okay, so the energy consumed is the amount of electrical energy consumed in a given time. And this one actually is the, we derive from this P equals to E over T. Kita kasih naik itu masa. So we get the energy consumed equals to power times time. Lah. Okay, and okay, this I want to mention another thing. Lah. Okay, uh, I want to mention another thing. Okay, when we talk about consumed energy, energy times time, okay, usually if it is a normal question, uh, okay, the unit will be in joules because the same as all the other energy. Okay, but there is one situation that we are going to learn in a while where we need to think about this in a slightly different angle. Okay, in, in our normal electricity bill, uh, okay, whenever we get electricity bill, after this, go and take a look at your own house electricity bill. You will find uh, that they use this unit called kilowatt hour. Okay, we use kilowatt hour because kilowatt is the unit for power and hour is the unit for time. And this is very specific case. We only use kilowatt hour when we are talking about electricity bill. Okay, because in the electricity bill, when the guy come and check your meter and everything that Okay, whenever they come and check your meter, they will always count in terms of unit. Okay, for example, this month, this house has used 300 units. Okay, that is, you know, when the electrician comes, sorry, when the person from SASB, okay, when he comes, he just reads the meter or 300 units. Okay, but for us, we understand it as 300 kilowatt hour. We don't use 300 joules because joules are, is too small okay, to, to quantify for kilowatt hour. Okay, unless uh, your house is the kind of house uh, that only has 
one lamp and one fan and one induction cooker. Okay, even induction cooker though takes a lot of energy. Okay, so because we use up a lot of energy, yeah, it doesn't make sense for our meter to use joules. Okay, otherwise uh, the numbers will keep running and then you get very scared. Lah. Okay, so if you look at your meter, the numbers that you see there are actually uh, it, uh, consume energy in kilowatt hours. Okay, but the meter man, when he comes to read, uh, he will just write it down as a unit. Lah. Okay, but for us in physics, we understand one unit to be one kilowatt hour. Okay, so the exception for this formula, okay, usually we use joules because the time is in second. Okay, but for us, okay, because the electrician only comes once a month, uh, it's going to be crazy if it comes per second. Uh, okay, so it's like one month, how many seconds? So he counts it in hour so that it makes more sense. Okay, so this is something that was decided a long time ago by our forefathers. Uh, so that's not quite there. Okay, but for, for consume energy for electric bill, uh, we talk about it in terms of kilowatt hour. Okay, and we will answer a few questions in a while. So there's a lot of things that we need to think about. Okay, but I just want to mention this difference. Uh, okay, consume energy can be in joules, but when we're talking about electricity bill, kilowatt hour cost, okay, then we're talking about kilowatt hour. All right, <clears throat> one last, no, not one last thing, but yeah, one last thing before we start answering questions. Huh? Okay, is this word called power rating? Okay, this definition for power rating is a very famous sleep question. Uh, question huh? Okay, sure, a lot of people will ask one. So, whenever you look at any electrical appliance, huh? okay, you look at any electrical appliance, uh, or... <laughs> I want to show you an electrical appliance, but I forgot what it was. Okay, so anyway, you will have every electrical appliance uh, must have a certain marking one. Okay, there's a label on it uh, that must show you this, this kind of symbol. Must have a voltage and must have a uh, wattage. Okay, uh, power, uh, okay, the amount of power. So this label, okay, is known as the power rating. Okay, and what this power rating means, uh, okay, kalau dia punya nombor adalah 240 volts, and 1,500 watts, okay, it means that for every second, uh, okay, for every second that you use, okay, the electric kettle will consume 1,500 joules if we connect it to 240 volts, okay. Now, why do we use 240 volts? Uh? This is something that you will learn in chapter 3, uh, but I just want to mention that all our electrical supply is supplied to us uh, in 240 volts. Okay, in countries like America and Japan, uh, they only supply 120 volts. Okay, so their electrical appliance uh, is actually geared towards receiving 120 volts. Which is why uh, if you buy something from America, let's say you buy, you order something online, an electrical appliance okay, from America, you must check the power rating. If the power rating is 120 volts, uh, then you need to buy a converter. Okay, so that when you supply the electricity, uh, Okay, the converter will reduce the, the voltage to become 120. Otherwise, kalau dia hanya mampu untuk menerima 120 and you supply 240, ya, boom! Okay, so the, the electrical appliance will rosak lah. Sia-sia saya kamu order dari Amerika. Contoh, mau hebat lah kan? Tapi, 120 volt saja dia boleh supply. Okay, why is it that in Malaysia we supply a big, big amount of energy? This one, you gotta ask our our, the people that make decisions for us. Okay, why do Americans only use 120? Even the Japanese, they use 120. Okay, but we use 240. Okay, this is decision that is made up much higher. Lah. Okay, but for us, our electrical supply always is given to us in 240 volts. So whenever you see the power rating, okay, uh, please understand what it means. What does this 1,500 watts mean? It means every second, we use up 1,500 joules of electrical energy. Okay, syaratnya kita men we supply 240 volts uh, of voltage lah. Okay, to the electrical appliance. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording here for a while. Let me look for something and then I will be back in a minute. I'm gonna resume recording. Okay, <coughs> so sorry, uh, I was looking around for something to show you the power rating. Okay, so if you look at this properly, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. So this is my iron now. Uh, okay, yeah, I know. Ignore this. Okay, so if you look at this label over here, oh dear. <laughs> okay, so you look at this, uh, You will see two hundred and for two hundred and twenty to two hundred and forty volts, and then one thousand to one thousand two hundred watts. 
Okay, so every every single piece of electrical equipment uh, must have this label. Okay, it is a it is a law. Okay, you must kabur uh. Okay, never mind lah. Yeah, yang penting kau nampak ini lah. Okay, everybody has an iron at home, so even the fridge. If I can carry my fridge, uh, I will carry it and show you lah. But everything lah. Uh, okay, everything must have. Okay, so later you go and look uh, Look around your house uh, Every electrical appliance must have this. If don't have this uh, means uh, definitely not serum approved. Okay, you better throw the electrical appliance away. So this one is what I say is called the power rating, and every electrical appliance must have it. Okay, it is the duty of anybody who supplies electrical equipment to tell uh, how much power is being used or how much energy is being used per second. Okay, per second now, uh, whenever you supply 240 volts. If I were to produce this same iron uh, in America or in Japan, uh, for example, uh, so this number okay, wouldn't be 240. Okay, it would be 120. Because, as I said just now, uh, like in America, uh, in Japan, the voltage that they supply is only 120. But in Malaysia, we supply 140, uh, 240. Okay, all right. So uh, let's take a look at some example questions. Okay, so first of all, uh, okay, so you have an electric kettle is connected across a 240 volt supply. Okay, if the resistance of the heated element or the heating element is 40, 40 ohms, okay, calculate the current flowing through the element and the quantity of heat produced in 10 minutes. Okay, uh, why don't you give this a try? You can give this a try first uh, and then uh, we'll answer it in a while. Okay, if you have your answers ready, go ahead and write, I mean the answers are there, okay, the answers are there, so uh, see if you can answer it without me. Without me needing to share it with you. Hold on, I'm going to pause the recording for a while. <coughs> okay, so the question just now, uh, okay, the voltage they give is 240 volts and then the resistance is 40 volts. The first uh, question is what is the current now? So we use Ohm's law for this case. Okay, 240 equals to I times 40, and that I equals to 6F. Okay, don't forget to use the unit line. Okay, second question is, how much energy? Okay, how much energy is being consumed? Uh, there are many ones, there are many ways we can do it. Okay, if I use all three ways, I uh, also can. I can use E equals to EIT or E equals to I squared RT or E equals to B squared R. Uh, sorry, B squared over R times T. Okay, whichever one you use, okay, based on the information given, okay, you will get the same answer, which is about 864. Kilo, uh, sorry, 864 joules or 864 kilojoules. The important thing to remember is that because this chapabati is 10 minutes, huh? okay, remember you have to change the minutes to seconds. So it will be 10 times 60 okay, seconds. Then you use whichever formula. Kalau kau tidak puas hati, use all three. Banding kan all three answers. Okay, you will get the same. Uh, you will get the same answer, which is 864 kilojoules. Okay, so I'm not going to uh, spend more time here. I'm going to show you the second question. Uh, I hope everyone is okay. If you have a problem with the calculation, uh, just let me know in the chat box and then I will come to you in a while. Okay, the second question. Uh, uh, ignore the third question for a while. I want to go to the second question first. Okay, immersion heater has a power rating of 240 volts and 750 watts. Okay, I want to push you, try to understand what is the meaning of its power rating. Okay, write it out in a sentence. Okay, where, whichever, if you're doing a paper, okay, just write it out in a sentence so that, uh, so, that you, <coughs> so that you learn to practice. Because this is a very important definition. Okay, almost every year, this question is asked. What is the meaning of its power rating? Okay, what, is, what do these numbers mean? And it's good to know. Okay, because every day we use electrical appliance kind, we need to know. And it's also good for us to compare, you know. If the power rating is low, okay, then it could be, you know, uh, it could be more electrically uh, cheaper. Uh, I mean, sorry, it will use less energy, okay, to do the same amount of work. Possible, okay, not always. Okay, try to answer first. And then this one. The third question, to uh, I mean, uh, if you already learned this and you want to answer, you can go and answer, uh, okay, but 
try to answer the second question first. So question number two, okay, uh, we are given the voltage is 240 volts and then the wattage or the power, okay, is 750 watts. Okay, so what's the power rating? Uh, I always like to start in some of the way, 240 volts is supplied to, what is the alarm? Uh? Is it an immersion heater? Is it immersion heater? Okay, when the 240 volts is supplied to the immersion heater, okay, 750 joules of energy is consumed for each second, okay, per second. Okay, that's why it's in watts. Okay, and that's what the power rating means. Hello, you can IR is a little bit different, it's okay. Just make sure that uh, the important words are there, like 240 volts, okay, supplied. 750 joules of energy per second, which is why it's watts. Okay, so be very happy with that. The second thing is, what is the resistance? Okay, if you, uh, if you look at the information given, I only given two, which is the voltage and the power. So we're going to use P equals to V squared over R, because I have the power and I have the voltage. And then you get R equals to 76.8. Okay, and then C, the last one is, what is the energy used in, sorry, uh, how many seconds was that? Uh? Oh, 15 minutes, sorry. Okay, so T is 15 minutes. So since it's 15 minutes, we're going to change it to seconds. Okay, because whenever we talk about power, we need to talk about seconds. So it'll be 15 times 60. Okay, which you can calculate later. So energy equals to, I'm going to use the same thing, V squared T over R. Since I'm given this tree, okay, so V squared is 240, okay, uh, squared T is 15 times 16, and R is 76.8. Okay, and then I will get the answer as shown to be 675,000 joules, okay, or 675 kilojoules. Okay, can I use P equals to E over time? Can. Can I use another formula? Can. You can use any formula. Okay, but you just need to have the amount of information. Okay, so uh, actually once you know the calculation, sorry, once you know the formulas, then the calculation is pretty easy. You just have to take out upper and lower silicon, look at what they supply for you, which information is given, and then uh, you know use the correct formula for that. Okay, just like our chapter two kinematic equations. Okay, but uh, one thing again, and I want to emphasize is to understand what the power rating means and know how to write the right sentence for the power rating. Okay, that I think above all is a very important thing that you should uh, take note of. Lah. Okay, all right, I'm going to go into the next slide. Uh, any problem so far? Okay, everyone? Yeah, nah? Okay, this one is mostly calculation, so you know, it's not that much. Lah. But we're going to go into this last part which is to talk about, uh, not this question, we're going to talk about this. <clears throat> okay, so uh, comparing, uh, comparing power rating and energy consumption of various electrical appliances. So the larger the power rating uh, means you use more energy per second. So for example, just now, uh, like my iron, my iron is 1000 to 1200 watts. Usually uh, when I buy electrical appliances, um, I, I don't know about you, lah, okay, but when I was looking for when I was looking for my fridge, right? Okay, so they have this sticker there that says, oh, how much, like if it's three star, means it's not very energy, uh, not very energy saving. Uh. So they have some like five stars, can, then it's energy saving. Okay, but I'm not the kind of, I know I'm not the kind of person that, uh, it's a pichaya, you know, five star means, you know, so I will usually go and see how much is the power rating. Okay, because, you know, if your <coughs> if your power rating is very high, then you use more energy per second. Okay, and then of course, the longer you use the time, the more electrical energy is consumed. Now. So I want to find one now that can still function, but I don't want to have such a big power rating because I don't want to spend so much money for you know paying electricity bill. Now. Okay, so as I was saying just now, kilowatt hour. Okay, one kilowatt hour represents the amount of energy consumed in one hour. Okay. 
when we talk about electricity bill, uh, we talk in kilowatt hour because if we were to count in seconds, uh, then every time you see the numbers, guys, it's just going to go up and up and up and up. It's very scary to see those kind of numbers. Okay? We can we can down orang saja kalau the numbers keep going up because you know that that's energy being consumed. Okay, so this is the important thing, uh, for electricians. Sorry, for people for people that come to read the meter, uh, they understand it as one unit of energy. Okay. So this house uses proper unit. This house uses proper unit. But for us, we need to understand that one unit of energy is also equal to one kilowatt hour. Okay, so we use the same formula: energy equals to power times time. Except that we use uh, in we use this uh, to change to convert lah. One kilowatt hour is equals to how many joules? Okay, guys, take a look ah. Uh. Three point six times ten to the power of six joules. Okay, for one hour of usage, it's a lot. Okay, so that's why our if we use this, if we use joule in our meter, then our numbers will be very big, and it's going to be very hard to read, lah. Okay, because it's just going to continue to grow. <clears throat> okay, so that's why we use kilowatt hour because the numbers will take a while, sublim the night, so the meter man can come and read. You know, if we use joule, ah, means ah, wow, when is it going to stop reading? Because it's always going to go up. Okay, so. <coughs> Um, you know, if you have time uh, during this MCO, you know what you can do uh, is you can compare, uh, you can start doing such a comparison like this. Okay, let's say, uh, for example, you turn on the fan with a power rating of 50 watts. Wow. <laughs> okay, for one hour, uh, the consumption is about 0 0.05. Uh, this one. Okay, I'm going to send this slide over to you and I want you to try to figure out whether this is true. Uh. Okay, remember, uh, change watt to kilowatt. Okay, how to change watt to kilowatt is divide by 1000. So 50 divided by 1000 times 1 hour, you get 0 0.05. Okay, same thing. TV, let's say the power rating is 100. Not all TVs are 100 people. Some TVs are higher power rating. Huh? Okay, so you use about 0 0.1. Okay, per hour, huh? per hour people. Okay, computer 200. Uh, well, most people don't use computer anymore. Huh? We use laptop again. Huh? Okay, so let's say it's 200, okay, it's 0 0.2, begitu. Air conditioner, air, air conditioner. Yeah, betul lah, aircon lah. Okay, aircon has a very high power rating. Okay, which is why we don't recommend that you turn on the aircon 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year because the power rating is very high. Okay, 1000 watts. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, washing machine also, interestingly, uh, can be very high and be sometimes higher, but the problem is we don't use washing machine all the time. Okay, bukan macam Dolby ya. Uh, Dolby is a different case lah, but you don't use washing machine all the time. Okay, so the question is, why is it now that water heater has a very high power rating compared to air conditioner? Okay, the reason is because anything that is used to produce heat, okay, apa apa yang digunakan untuk you know to produce heat na, always has to consume more energy. So what dia mau bekalkan haba. Okay, so things like microwave, things like oven, things like Induction cooker, okay. Uh, induction cooker not so much lah. Okay, uh, water heater lah. Okay, water heater is three thousand six hundred. So guys, if you have a water heater at home, and you are always very lazy to turn off the water heater after you consume it, uh, uh, think of this power rating, and think of how much money you are wasting for your family by forgetting to turn off the water heater. Uh, so if because I know a lot of you, kamu baru mandi tadi pagi makan. Go and make sure that your water heater is turned off. Even if you're not using it, now, guys, okay, there is still some power being used. Okay, look at the power rating, people. Okay, it's no joke. Huh? Anything that produces heat, okay, consumes a lot of power. Okay, I uh, another one that selalu orang lupa turn off huh, is what I know is iron. People always forget to turn off the iron. Iron also produces a lot of this one. Okay, so. All the energy consumption when you plus 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 all together, you get this four point zero five. Okay, but this one, uh, <coughs> you know, you can actually do a table like this uh, on your own if you have really nothing else to do, no more homework to complete. But start comparing like, all the power rating in your house, then you will realize uh, sometimes the one that we use the most uh, actually consumes the least energy. Okay, the one that we kadang kala guna, you know, for example, like washing machine, this one uses a lot of energy. But we don't always use it. But the one that we always use and always consumes a lot of energy uh, is always fridge and air conditioner. Especially aircon. Uh. Okay, so 
the next time you want to turn on your aircon, especially at 16 degrees Celsius in cool setting and in maximum fan mode, uh, guys, please remember okay, that it consumes a lot of power. If you really need to cool down, then you turn it on. Okay, kalau kamu on sebab habit sudah kan, okay, it's time to think about better ways to save energy because we need to save the earth. Wow, public service announcement. Okay, so let's look at one example. So how to calculate the cost of electrical energy? Okay, the cost is the number of units times cost per unit. Okay, which I'm going to. This not all I will show you in a while. And as I said, this is the formula for efficiency lah. Okay. Uh, one thing to note, uh, the efficiency of an electrical appliance is always less than 100 okay? because some energy is lost in the form of heat and sound. Okay? For example, TV. Uh, the main purpose of the TV is to display. So that's the main energy. But there will be a certificate of you know, energy that is lost due to heat. Okay? Because whenever you have some form of light, you must have a certificate of heat. So you will never... It's very hard to find a 100% efficient uh, thing. Lah. Because 100% efficient that means the energy supply can terus menjadi that energy saja. Cannot. Okay, we've talked about this when we were doing chapter 2. Lah, so I'm just, uh, just going to use this as a revision. Okay, so this is my house bill. Okay, and I purposely didn't show you my house address in case some of you are stalking me. Okay, but the one that I want. So stop looking at my 96 ringgit now. Okay, the 96 ringgit is nothing. Okay, but the point is how did I get, how did this person now get this one? 95 ringgit and 29 cent. Okay, this is the question that we need to ask. So how did this amount came to be? So in SESB, yeah, okay, different sections of our country yeah, uh, have different uh, electrical suppliers. Lah. So for example, in Sabah is SESB. In Sarawak, I think it's Sarawak Electricity. And in West Malaysia, it's the Naga National Berhad, TNB. Okay, so uh, all these three companies or the three electrical suppliers, uh, they have a slightly different, um, slightly lah, okay, only slightly different uh, cost lah. But this is the one that I want to focus on. Okay, so <clears throat> so uh, if you look at this one now, okay, bacaan dulu, bacaan semasa, okay, this is the date, okay, and between the 8th of February 2020 and the 10th of March 2020, which was before our MCO started, huh, okay, I used up about 364 units of energy. Okay? So this is the meter reading. Okay, kalau kamu di luar rumah makan, then you look at this. Lah. So on the 8th of February, this was my reading. On the 10th of March, this was my reading. Okay, so if you do the math, ini tolak ini, you will get 364 units or kilowatt hours. Somebody commented sikit ya. Yelah sikit lah. Bukan apa mau banyak-banyak. Bukan saya pakai aircon hari-hari. Okay. So 364 kilowatt hours. Okay. So there is a certain breakdown uh, that our SESB provides for us lah. So for the first 103 units. This one lah. Uh, okay. 103, 104, 103. Uh, ini ditetapkan oleh SESB. Okay, uh, and when you answer questions later, uh, it will be decided for you. Lah. So the first 103 units, they charge 17.5 cents per unit. Okay, 0 0.175 means 17.5 cents. Lah. Okay, so 103 times 17.5 cents, you'll get 18.03. 18 ringgit and 3 cents. Okay, kalau dia ada 3.5 di belakang or 2.5, dia akan bundarkan. Lah. Okay. Then the next 104 units, okay, is charged at 18.5 cents per unit. So 104 times 18.5, I'll get 19, we get 24 cents. Okay, and then the next 103 units after that, I don't understand why it's 103, 104, 103. Okay, but that's, uh, it's only SSB. Okay, so the first 103 is this kadar. The second 104 is this kadar. The third 103 is this kadar. So 103 times 33 cents per unit, it becomes this. And then of course, finally, it's 54. Okay, why 54? Because 103 plus 104 plus 103 plus 54 is 364. So they break it down now according to how much you use. Okay, so 364 minus 103 minus 104 minus 103 and then the last one is 54. So 54 units are the final 54 units from the 364 is charged 44.5 cents per unit. Okay? And it's 24 ringgit and 3 cents. Lah. 
and that's how I get my 95 ringgit all together. Okay, but the point that I want to show to you is this, huh? okay, especially for those of you uh, who like to waste electricity at home, huh? is that the more energy you use, huh, the more expensive the rates are. Okay, so that's why energy con energy saving uh, appliances are very important. There are some things that you cannot help. Okay, for example, fridge lah. You cannot turn on the fridge, turn off the fridge. You know, they bukan mengikut penggunaan kamu. But whenever you can turn off something, people, here's another public service announcement. Huh? If you're not using something, turn it off. Turn it off. You know, turn off the switch because, guys. The more energy you consume, uh, the more expensive it is. Okay? And this will become more real to you when you finally earn your own money and you have to pay the bills. Then you realize, oh gosh, I need to find ways to save energy. Okay? So it's never so whenever you think about turning on, <laughs> okay, whenever you think about turning on your aircon uh, for the entire day, please remember this. The more energy you use, the more expensive it's going to be. Okay? I, <laughs> Okay, here come all the private chats. Not only turn off, yeah. Okay, somebody also said turn off and plug off. Okay, that's also that actually hasn't been proven. I think I'm not sure whether it's true. Uh, but I think for now, turn off is already good enough. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so what I want you to do, I mean, if you have time after this, uh, okay, go and look at your electricity bill. Okay, and uh, and 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 it is always good uh, to double check. Okay, so like for me, uh, what I do is I always double check. I know I'm in a D1. Okay, I will always double check to make sure that the amount is correct because I don't want to pay one cent more than what I'm supposed to pay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know I'm very poor. Right? So, you know, check, check and make sure and see. This, the unit, uh, dengan ini kadar, bakal, ini memang sudah ditetapkan. Okay, so let's say, uh, what if I use, for example, 1000 kilowatt hours? Uh, okay, if I use 1000 kilowatt hours a month, then this breakdown now will be even more, and then the kadar will become more and more expensive as I approach 1,000 units. Okay, so go and look at your electricity bill and figure out how the electricity bill is, you know, being this one. Okay, maybe some of you can tell me, uh, after 44.5 cents, gun, what is the next, the next group of uh, kilowatt hours, gun, how many cents is it? Okay, sorry, I've never paid beyond 44.5 cents. I checked all my previous bills, gun, I've never paid more than this, so I don't really know. Okay, uh, somebody is check where we pay. Uh, you can pay to SASB, you can pay to, uh, you can pay using Boost, you can pay using uh, online banking. There are many ways to pay your electricity bills. Uh, is that your question, Tom? I'm not really sure what you're asking. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this question three once again. Huh? So an appliance with a power of two kilowatts is used for 10 minutes, three times a day. If the cost of electricity is 25 cents per unit, ini contoh saja, okay? Dia cakap saja 25 cents per unit. Although we know that in reality, it's not all 25 cents per unit lah, okay? For me, it's 17.5 cents for the first, begitu -begitu. Okay, so if it is 25 cents per unit, Let's count the cost of operating this appliance in the month of April. Okay, there's a reason now why they say month of April. Okay, I'm going to highlight all this and I'm going to give you some time to, uh, some time to calculate. See if you can get the 7 ringgit and 50 cents. Okay, so, come uh, this question now. So the question says that uh, this electrical appliances uses 2 kilowatt hours. Oh, uh, sorry, 2 kilowatts of power. And then uh, the time that the electrical appliance is turned on and being used is 10 minutes, three times a day in the month of April. Okay, and then the cost is zero, sorry, 25 cents per unit. Okay, so we want to find the cost of the appliance that are used in April. Okay, of course, the thing that we need to do is to change the, <coughs> change the unit of uh, power, okay, in, sorry, unit of energy into uh, kilowatt hour. Okay, but the problem is this, uh, we have 10 minutes, three times a day in April. Okay, so 10 minutes, 3 times a day means it's 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes means it's 0 0.5 hours. So one day, we use these electrical appliances for 0 0.5 hours. And since we're using it in the month of April, okay, if you don't know this, every, the, the big small, big small gun, it tells you the number of days there are in the month. Okay, this is SK, you know, sorry. So January, February, March, April, April is down here, so it's 30 weeks. Okay, so, 
<coughs> so the total amount of time uh, is 30 times 0 0.5 hours, which is 15 hours all day. Okay, so our energy, uh, energy is 2 times 15, which is 30 kilowatt hours. So our cost will be 30, sorry, cost will be 30 kilowatt hours times 0 0.25 cents per unit. Okay, which will give you between Malaysia 7 ringgit and 50 cents. You probably get 750 when you count this. Oh, sorry, no, no, correct, correct, correct. 750 and 7 ringgit 50 cents per unit. Okay, so uh, this is a very typical question uh, uh, whenever we're talking about uh, SPM exam. I think it's a very typical question. They will change the month. Uh, okay, just to test you and see whether you know how many days are there in every month. Okay, so if you're not sure, okay, just January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Only July and August have the same amount of days. Okay, obviously February doesn't have 30 days, uh, please. Uh. Okay, February got 28, and we usually use 28. Okay, but they won't ask February like, because February then some people are like, what's call it? You know, 29 days. So they usually use a safe month la, Okay, which is like January, April, August, or December. Okay, yang memang tetap dan berpencen lah 30 atau 31 hari. Alright, we're almost at the end, guys. Uh, just hang in there for a while. <coughs> Okay, so the last thing that we need to talk about is how to increase energy efficiency. Okay, so the term efficiency and energy efficiency refers to gaining a higher level of useful outputs using less input. Okay, makin banyak output, makin sikit input, then bagus. Okay, this can be achieved using efficient devices. So several ways to increase energy efficiency includes, okay, this is all good practice people, use more energy efficient lighting. For example, this bulb over here is less efficient because although you get light, but you waste a lot of energy in terms of heat. That's why this kind of bulb, okay, is cheap. Okay, it's less than, oh, I don't know, less than two ringgit, I think. But this one, because it is a very highly efficient bulb, okay, it uses very little energy. So in the long term, uh, it saves you a lot of money. Although, pada peringkat permulaan, kamu kena bayar lebih sikit lah untuk this. Okay, this is about 15 ringgit per bulb. Okay, so replace regular incandescent or filament bulbs okay, with compact fluorescent light bulbs like this. Okay, secondly, <clears throat> proper utilization of all electrical appliances. Like for example, run your washing machine only when it is fully loaded. I have seen people uh, turn on the washing machine okay, for the entire cycle, uh, all 60 minutes of it, uh, just to wash three pieces of underwear. Okay, I've seen people do that and I'm like face pump. Okay, so please people only run the washing machine when it is fully loaded. True story, okay, I'm not bluffing. Some of you are like, really? Okay. <laughs> so, and iron your clothes only when you have at least a few pieces to iron. Yeah, this is a very good habit actually. So, you know, when you iron your clothes, huh, you don't iron one piece every day. Okay, that is actually more energy wasting you iron many pieces at once. So for example, like for me, every day my work clothes is different. Huh? It's good practice for me to the entire week punya baju, I iron all at one go. Rather than Sunday night, one baju, Monday night, another baju, Tuesday night, another baju. Okay, that's uh, very energy wasting. Huh? Third, nah, Nina, this is for everyone who is going through the MCO. Limit the excessive usage of air conditioning and lighting by switching them off upon leaving the room, thus reducing energy loss. How many of you are, is like the kind of person, oh, saya pasan dulu lah aircon, nanti lah bila sejuk baru saya masuk balik. And then you forget about it, and then two hours later, and then you masuk the building. That's a lot of energy wasted, people. Okay, please, uh, please, please, please. Okay, we need to save the energy because, yeah, siapa geng kipas, siapa geng kipas. Okay, yang, uh, yang perasan geng kipas tu jangan tipu lah, okay. Saya tahu tu kau kuat guna aircon sampai air. Okay, four, regular cleaning of air filters in air conditioned units and clothes dryers. Guys, if you have nothing to do during this time of the MCO, okay, and if you have aircon in your house and in your room, I think it's a good idea to help your parents by cleaning the air filters for them. Okay, because that also helps to save energy. Lah. Okay, number five, defrost re refrigerators regularly. Okay, we check the seal on the refrigerator doors and vacuum the grill behind the room. Uh, refrigerators. This is also good practice. If I want to talk about fridge, uh, another good practice is jangan sikit-sikit buka tutup buka tutup itu 
Okay, jangan don't a bit a bit ah. Open and close, open and close, open and close. Every time you open and close the fridge ah, okay, you waste energy. Okay, I know people ah that they tidak tahan bahkan, they tidak tahan go and open the freezer and then put their head inside. Okay, just so that you can cool yourself down. Please, 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 people. The fridge is not meant to cool your head. Okay, the fridge is meant to keep stuff in there. Uh, you know, so that it doesn't rose up. Okay, yeah. Yang tiba-tiba buka tanpa sebab itu yang not very good. Okay, of course number six uh, is to improve ventilation and airflow lah. Okay, when your ventilation is good, then you at least usually when we talk about things like aircon fan. Okay, uh, when you improve ventilation and airflow, it will help. Okay, to save energy in that sense. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, other things that we need to talk about is fuse. Okay, what are fuses? Fuses is a short piece of wire which overheats and melts if current or more of more than a certain value flows through it. Okay, so for example, in our house, uh, <coughs> the current is usually about 4 amps. Lah. Okay, so we must use a slightly higher uh, fuse. Lah. Okay, so because uh, if we use 4 amps, then, then the fuse, uh, they hanya boleh tahan sampai 4 amps. Kan? Then every time you turn on the thing, I'll show you what it Okay, because if a short circuit develops in the appliance, a current which is too high will flow, which is actually what happened in my house yesterday. Okay, in my house yesterday, there was a short circuit somewhere outside the building, okay, which caused my, uh, some of you, I asked you all, uh, is something happening? Uh, because what happened was my fan, uh, my fan started to spin very fast and then my lights suddenly became very bright. Then it became bright and became dark, bright, dark, bright, dark. So, then after it stayed bright for a very long time, before it finally boom, okay, then the entire block, my entire block was, uh, you know, kehilangan this one now. So we had no electricity for about two hours while waiting for this one. Only then, when we called the SCSB, <laughs> only then when we called SCSB, uh, then we found out that, oh, there was a short circuit somewhere. Okay, so the short circuit, uh, okay, if a short circuit happens, a current which is too high will flow. Okay, and if a too high electrical appliance, sorry, if you supply more than is needed, uh, the fuse is there to protect your electrical appliance. Okay, so fuse are uh, usually other in three pin plug. Uh, okay, which is why uh, you find that most expensive electrical appliances uh, will use three pin plugs. Okay, because the three pin plug only got fuse. Two pin don't have fuse one. Uh, okay, so two pin is the tendency for two pin to rose up will be much higher. Uh, Okay, uh, so, so the fuse suitable for use uh, must be slightly higher than the normal current flow. So if this normal current is 4 amps, the fuse is usually a little bit higher, 5 amps. Uh. 4.2 is a little bit too near to 4. Okay, because remember, uh, electricity that is provided for us uh, always fluctuates. Okay, the current that is given to us always fluctuates. And that's normal. Okay, but we don't want it to fluctuate too much. Okay, just like the lamp, uh, if the lamp if the fluctuation is too much, and kalau dia punya perubahan terlalu banyak kan, then you will get uh, like some of you are commenting now lah. Then you get things like conjuring, okay? You get like oh maybe there's a ghost in the house. No, there's no ghost in the house. It's very logically explained by a short circuit. Okay, so fuses need to be a little bit higher, a little bit only, yeah. Okay, higher than the normal use one. Okay, so <clears throat> this is also a normal question asked in exam lah. But if the current that is supplied if the current that is supplied is 4 amps, uh, okay, then they will give you a few choices. 4.2, 5, and 10. Okay? So obviously 4.2 cannot, it's too near to 4. 10 is a bit too much, it's too high already. Okay? Because if the fuse only breaks, uh, if this line over here okay, only pecha at 10 amps, uh, means uh, the electrical appliance is going to receive more current than it can use, okay? which is going to make it rose up. Okay, so it's this balance that we need to have. So we use 5 amps is the safest one. Okay, <clears throat> alright, lastly, 3 pin plug. Okay, 3 pin plug, this one you learn uh, during your KHB days uh, in Form 3. Okay, just remember LED, uh, sorry, uh, the neutral one is blue, the earth wire is green and yellow, and then the brown one is the live wire. Okay, the live wire is always connected to the fuse. Lah. Okay, so the live wire, a current flows through the circuit, neutral wire, it has zero potential difference, and then the earth wire is the important one. Earth wire is a safety wire which connects the metal body of the appliance to earth. If a live wire touches the metal body of an appliance, a large current would immediately flow to the earth and break the fuse. This will prevent a person from electrocution. Okay, which is why 
uh, most especially expensive electrical appliance uh, will use a three pin plug. Okay, not just to protect the appliance but also to protect you. Because you never know. Sometimes you turn down into TV car, turn down into fridge, right? so you don't want the current to flow through you. Okay, so the current will flow through the uh, through the mat, sorry. <coughs> the current will flow through uh, the earth wire and then you know prevent you from being electrocuted. Okay, so all these are uh, safety measures lah, okay, that people have taken over the years to protect you from uh, being electrocuted. Alright, I think that's about all uh, for our class today. Does uh, anybody have any questions? That's it. Okay, and we are done with chapter two. Okay, congrats to everyone. We are finished with chapter two. So Saibole Uji ini makan dalam PP1. Ah gitu. <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, I think PP1 dia sampai 2.2 saja. I think so lah. Okay. Oh, terus everyone dot dot dot. Okay. Ending the video now. Oh, sorry, ending the recording. Huh? Okay. Thanks everyone. Okay, uh, there's a question for us. Uh, question is asked by Aaron. Aaron asked, to look for power, must use second only. Uh, yes, but it depends on the situation. If you're, if you're looking for power to count the, uh, to count the cost, uh, then we use hour. But all power, uh, P equals to E over time. Okay, this one, uh, the cap formula. Uh, energy over time, this one must be in seconds. Uh, whenever we talk about energy in terms of joule. Because remember, uh, what, uh, okay, what is joules per second? But when you want to count the cost okay, for the energy, uh, we use kilowatt hour. Uh, Nigel's question, how to count Suda the cost of electric uh, energy? Which question? Uh, this question. Uh. The cost is the cost is the energy in kilowatt hours times the cost per energy. Does, does that make sense? We need to count how many units first. Okay, then we need to know how much per unit. Lah. Okay, this one, ah, yang they up 25 cents per unit kan, is specific for this question. Lah. Remember my electric bill just now. My electric bill just now, they are the different, different rates depending on how much you use. Okay, guys, I would really highly suggest the best way to practice this ah, is look at your own electricity bill. Okay, then you know how to count. Okay, and it's good practice because later when you grow up to become adults, kan, all this <laughs> becomes very handy. It helps you to save money. Alright, any more questions?